Hi guys, Rich from Tracksbark here. Hope you're all well and had a good February um, and a good Valentine's Day. And I hope you didn't spend it alone, unless you wanted to spend it alone, that is. Um, but uh, anyway, I'll get on with the, the uh, tutorial for this month and stop talking rubbish. Right, um, this month is another side chaining trick. So if you if you watched last month, I did a side chaining um, sort of reverb, which was pretty cool. Um, I promise I'm not just going side chaining, side chaining, side chaining for the fun of it. I literally um, do what I'm coming up with at the time in my in my sort of other work and I, and I just pass on things ideas that I think are pretty cool uh, for you guys so it's purely coincidence but um anyway back to it so so I've called this month's um creating um extra extra energy using side chaining um extra energy or you know crazy rhythms you can use this on on, on several things but I'll, I'll tell you about that in a sec once I've explained what it is so um i've got this sort of that uh sort of um, mainstream sort of dance tune it's for promos uh this one um and um uh it's got horns in it and things like that um but um what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna side chat i've got a a live hi-hats loop here um which is actually from one of our live drums packs i think it might be last month's or the months before it's just uh, it's called disco funky loop 15 and it's just a hi hats loop so live hi hats i love using live hi hats i love all of these sort of live drum loops that i put in in your um in your packs for you but um i i, I particularly like the hi hats because they come in really useful just give that um sort of extra realness and extra energy live hi hats always sort of give um, you know, extra bounce and energy and, and, um, and rhythm to a track. So I'll just pay, play you the track quickly um, and then I'll, I'll play you exactly what's going on. Uh, I'll play you the, uh, the loop and then I'll show you what I'm going to talk to you today about. So here we go. <laughs> Right, there we go. So it's sort of like a funky, disco-y, um, horns, dancey tune. But um, hopefully you notice the hi-hats. They're a bit loud at the moment, but I've obviously pumped them up on purpose so that you can uh, notice them. But here's the, the playing 16th. So it's closed hi-hats, playing 16th. So let's just listen to the loop. So there's quite a bit of bounce in them anyway. Um, and if we just listen to the track without, and then put them back in, I mean, this is obvious, but just gives that extra rhythm and drive and, and, um, and, and bounce and energy that I'm talking about. But anyway, today's trick is what I'm going to do is I'm going to stick a side chain on these hi-hats and, and then I'm going to uh, mute the actual track so I'm going to put it to post fader um, the actual side the, the one that's triggering the side chain and then mute the track so and then try and create some crazy rhythm and extra energy um, to get an extra bounce so that those hi-hat for the for the hi-hat loop because they i mean they're nice and they give energy great but i just want to give that extra sort of bounce and rhythm um that i'm trying to explain here so what i've done is i've taken this track so this first track here um well firstly apologies firstly i've taken my hi-hats loop and i've got a compressor on it that has a side chain option here. So I've just got this Waves C1 compressor. I've stuck side chain on it. I've brought the threshold and the ratio right down. Um, so they're quite extreme. Um, so that was that's the first thing. And then I've got a track just underneath it here. So let's just take a look. And now I'm going to send it in my sends to my 16th hi-hat loop yeah which i've done and 
most place most things will, will come up like this so that's the amount of signal going now i'm going to set this to post fader and then in this way because at the moment what's on here is like an analog sort of snare sound doing a weird sort of rhythm so but because i've got it set to post fader it doesn't matter if i've dragged the the fader right down so that there's, it's inaudible so it's a fake track um now what's happening on that track is going to trigger the side chain is going to trigger the compressor on the hi-hats so let's see if this works are you ready Okay, so you can hear it ducking in and out there. And it's a little bit messy. And as, as you can see here, I've placed them, not all of them, on, an, on a sort of a regular beat. Um, those are like a 32th, 32nd in, um, just to create, because of the, just to create a, a crazy rhythm, because of the attack times and the release times, I don't always stick them directly on, on like, you know, an eighth or a quarter note. Um, it just sort of tends to work out better if they're slightly off that and give it a little bit more bounce. Apologies there, my phone's making noises. Something about President Trump. Um, okay, so, um, yeah, so let's just, um, and I guess one of the most important things here is the attack and the release times themselves so as you can see i've got i've obviously got my threshold and my ratio right down but um i've got my attack set to one millisecond and i've got my release set to 44 so if you play around with these parameters you're going to get different feels and different rhythms and it's just about you know what fits in in the, the context of the track or in the in the rhythm of the track so if i was to just pull down the release time to say 10 let's see what happens still a little bouncy but a lot sharper um so if i now bring that up to 20 slightly more relaxed which sounds good to me so let's just actually let's just listen to this in the track okay So we can there already hear the, 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 the pumping down and the coming up and, and, the, and the swelling up and the extra sort of energy that those that this is creating for the hi-hats. Now let's listen to it without the side chain in, the straight hi-hats. Which is pretty nice anyway, but let's just put this back on. Which is, I think it gives it a, a bit more interest and energy, but I, I think the release, I, I mean, I had it set to sort of 44, 45 before. So let's just see, um, slightly slower uh, release, but let's just see what happens now. I just get that tiny bit more energy out of it with, from, from a slower release just i think it's just because it's coming up that's that, that bit smoother really um so so that's one way of doing it um which is really good i like that um here's another way of doing it now what i've done is again a completely new track um and um what i've done is just put a fake uh, a kick drum let's have a listen a kick drum and also before i go any further what will also affect your rhythm is obviously the length and the, the decay etc of your sample so play around with that you know play around with it make it longer make it shorter as you can see i've got a slightly longer snare here slightly shorter snare 
there. So I'm just going to put those back to where they were. But this is, I've got a kick drum just going on the first beat. Um, and again, I have pulled the fader right down and sent this signal post fader to my 16th hi-hat loop. And I've obviously, I'm going to mute out the the sort of weird one that I just did, not the weird one, the, the slightly more rhythmic-y offbeat type rhythm. Now, if we listen to this on its own, it should, I'm not going to mess with the release times or anything like that, it should just suck out the first bit and rise up. You can really hear it on those first beats just after that little open where it, sort of, it really accentuates the, the suck down on the, on the first beat. But it gives it, like I said, I keep saying, broken record, um, it gives it that extra bounce, doesn't it? So let's just, again, let's listen to this uh, in context of the track. <laughs> really like that I really do like that that's really good just gives it that extra energy doesn't it and sometimes I think you can hear as well you might be able to hear these little clicks let's just listen <laughs> there was one there was one just there on this third beat here let's just listen it's just, I think it's just because something is slightly out of time or something went out of time Basically, it's when your your main signal is coming just before the side chain. See, it will it will click out and give you a little strange little click. So, what you got to make sure is that the actual playing isn't before your side chain, or you might get weird sort of clicks. So, look, it's a tiny bit. I only heard it a tiny bit that time. So, I'm just gonna just gonna shift it in time. with the kick so we shouldn't get any any weird pops clicks horrible noises um, let's go let's listen to it without that nice energy but this is better I hope you agree. Right, so let's just try one more thing. Now, what I've what I've got here is a delay, and I've stuck the delay on the kick drum. So let's have a look here. I've got uh, this. It's called Replica. Um, by the way, I love this delay. It's really easy to use. Um, it's by I think it's by Native Instruments. Um, it's really easy to use uh, and sounds wicked. But any delay will do. Now, I have, let's go back, let's solo this and turn up the fader so you can hear what's going on. I've got it um, set to eighth triplets. Yeah, so you can obviously hear, so here's the kick. So I'm going to try out a crazy rhythm, see what happens, see if yeah, it works any better than just this straight kick here, because the idea of this tutorial was to be slightly crazy. Now, uh, okay, so I'm just going to turn the fader back down, and let's solo them and see what happens. So we can hear instantly a lot more sucking and pumping and energy, sort of weird rhythms going on compared to just a compared, sorry, compared to just a straight up and down. 
I think this might work quite well. So, let's see what it sounds like in context with the rest of the track. Sounds pretty cool too. Let's see without the delay. So you can't hear me. Without the delay. I'm going to start again because it might have just messed up the rhythm a little bit. So here we go. can't see me but I'm definitely bobbing my head to that so I think that's really good it, it's a little bit wacky but um, it's just a bit more interesting I think so um, you know have a play around try these things out um, and hopefully you'll get something that sounds really cool um, right okay I hope that was useful I hope that was a cool little trick um, and um, like I say I use it so see how you get on, and I will speak to you next month. Cheers, guys. Bye.